So today we're doing an unboxing video of this, the GoPro Hero 7. Hope you enjoy. What's up boys and girls, my name is Ben Jimfield. I have a GoPro, what's up? This used to be like my intro. If you check one of my first 200 videos, please don't. My first 200 videos, I did these tutorials on the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. Although if you look at it, it wasn't exactly black and there was basically no difference between this one and the silver edition, appearance wise. Um, the Hero 3 and me, like, I'm just gonna keep this short before I actually do the unboxing, but the Hero 3, we did a lot of stuff together. Like we've been through a lot, like hiking and you know, underwater adventures, all sorts of crazy things. It's a really cool product and I loved it. I never found a reason to upgrade it. This this is actually very old. And it was very simple. If you looked at just the GoPro, it was it didn't have a screen. You could purchase a screen to it. Really cool. Uh, it had 4K, but it was like 15 FPS, so it wasn't that good. Um, and when it comes to slow motion videos, yeah, technically you had 720p and 120 frames per second, which was, it was okay, but you know, now my iPhone can, you know, shoot 240 frames per second in full HD. So, <clears throat> you know, not the most impressive thing, but um, I don't do GoPro tutorials anymore. And I don't think I'll be making that much on that front. I'm sorry to say for those of you who missed those days when I did you, uh, these tutorials, but I do think that I will make a couple of videos on GoPro Hero 7 because there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with these cameras. So the main reason I got this was the hyper smooth stabilization. Like the resolution is cool, you know, it's 4K, 60 FPS, it's, it's got 1080p and 240 frames per second. But then again, so does my iPhone. So it's not really so much about the resolution. I do like that it's got widescreen, but it's got a, it's like packed with a bunch of features. And I remember this summer we were like on the beach and bathing and all sorts of things. And, you know, I didn't want to take my smartphone with me to the water, but I was kind of missing, you know, having like a real action camera. So this is going to be cool. Now, I know I've said that it's like zero shopping in 2018, but I've bought a couple of things, but I usually have like a really good excuse. Like when I bought the webcam and this microphone, uh, I bought it with my AdSense. When it came to my iPhone, I was very clear from the get-go when I started saving my money that I was gonna buy a new iPhone at the end of the year, and I did. Other than that, I really haven't spent a lot of money. Now, this purchase, I don't really have a really good excuse, but one excuse is that we're gonna go on a winter trip in January, and I really wanted to have something that I can, you know, shoot when I'm skiing down the slopes and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, enough enough talk. It's been taking too long for an unboxing video. Let's get right to it. I, I don't like making these unboxing videos because I always mess up somehow, you know. Um, I'm just gonna tear it up. Like, I'm sorry if you don't like the way I do it, but I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna just change um, the field of view so you get a little more of it. Okay, so let's go. I'm opening it up now. I like the way they've made this box. It reminds me sort of of Apple. And you know, to be honest, I think that GoPro is sort of, sort of like um, Apple in that sense. Uh, you know, it's it's a bit too much, and they, you know, this costs a lot. I'm, you know, it costs like four hundred and fifty dollars. It's it's expensive for an action camera. But boy, do they know how to package these things. Um, you don't actually get too much with this thing. Like I remember, I, I wanted to show it because I already knew what was gonna be in it. Like when I got the GoPro Hero 3, I got a ton of accessories and I even got a water case for it. Now, you don't need it for the GoPro Hero 7 because uh, it's actually water resistant, but you know, I'm gonna get a water case anyway because uh, it just gives better protection. Like, yeah, technically you can swim with it and dive with it, but salt water and stuff like that i'm not too confident about it all right so i'm just gonna take this off can you see oh sorry these screws i like it that you still have the same screw system 
screw system. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I don't break this thing. I like the fact that the newer GoPros, that they have a built-in screen. That actually helps a lot. So I really, really like that. It's a nice case to it. I really like that. There it is. It's very nice. It's so, it's so thin. I'm going to remove the screen. I mean, it's, it's a bit thicker than my GoPro Hero 3, but with the screen on, like there's no comparison. The Hero 7 is definitely smaller. So I like it. It's got this nice rugged material here. It's sort of like rubbery. I never really liked the plasticky feeling of this one, but you know, I dropped this. I've done so many crazy things. This held up a lot. So I, I have a lot of expectations, but it's got, it's got so many features that I don't even know where to start. Like it's got the hyper smooth stabilization, which is like really cool. I'm actually going to use this one with my DJI Osmo mobile. So we'll see how it goes. Um, the resolutions are cool and it's got night time lapse. Uh, it's going to be really cool to try that out. Um, yeah, let's see if it got, if it's got some juice. First, I'm going to check if there's a battery. No, there is no battery. What is this GoPro? No battery. Okay. It's probably still in the box. So let's see. Well, I dropped something. Okay. You get these, uh, GoPro stickers. That's kind of cool. Actually, I kind of like that. Kind of like Apple, uh, some kind of a damage replacement thing, cloud backup. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to test out if you can like sort of, you know, um, transfer all video files over to your iPhone. That's going to be cool to test out. I'm going to test out all sorts of things. I am going to make a full review of this thing and it's going to be really thorough because my expectations are extreme on this bad boy. Um, Okay, and here we got some stuff. I like stuff. We've got a power cable. These are really good. You can attach these to stuff. Get two of those. There is the battery. And that's it. You don't really get so much more. And this is a good tip, by the way. You can use this like a stand, like this is supposed to be with the box, but it's actually pretty useful. I made a tutorial on this where I made a video where you can use it like that. Okay, the battery is small, but it's a bit bigger, I think, than the one that I have in my GoPro Hero 3. So, uh, let's see. Okay. Put it in like so. I should pro. you know what? I should probably get like a memory card. Some people complain because you don't get a memory card. Uh, I've never complained about this because I've always felt like, uh, you know what? Y you pay so much like let me at least pick the size for myself so i kind of like it that you don't get a memory card with it plus a lot of us we already have a bunch of memory cards just gonna find a fast one here there we go this is a fast one sandisk extreme pro 64 gigs let's see how it goes i can't kind of hard to put it in there there we go it's interesting that I see a turtle, but I'm not filming a turtle unless I look like a turtle. Like, that's kind of weird. Oh, I think I actually have to remove this. Oh, there you get that fresh feeling, you know, like when you peel the plastic uh, cover of a smartphone. I, I wasn't that exciting. Usually it's more exciting with smartphones because you get that nice little sound. Like I, like I did one on my iPhone 8. If you haven't seen it, it's like on my Instagram. Okay, there it is. Let's see if it's got some juice. Uh, turning it on. Yeah. Yep, definitely. And there's the screen. Oh, it looks nice. Nice menu, nice colors, nice resolution. You can see me. Okay, I have to pick English. Okay, nice. Should I pick English or French? Let's see if it's got Swedish, just for fun of it. Nope, no Swedish, but I was gonna pick English anyway, so. I don't mind. Legal stuff. Oh, I agree with everything that GoPro. GPS. Yes, the GoPro app. Yeah, I definitely am going to get the latest firmware because if you don't update to the latest firmware that you can use hyper smooth stabilization uh, in 4K 60 FPS. So I think that's that's kind of important, actually. So, yeah. Very cool. Um, 
I'm gonna skip some of these stuff. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to work. It's gonna be boring if I do this while you're watching this. So um, let's just uh, let's just admire this beauty here. And uh, okay, so apart from the GoPro, I also did get some. I mean, this is the whole thing of GoPro cameras. You know, they they have a bunch of accessories, and you just have to get at least some of them. Now I can tell you that for a GoPro Hero 3, I have a ton of accessories, and most of them will actually work great for this one. But I still wanted a couple of things. For instance, I I did order a, a a dual battery charger, an original GoPro battery charger, but it didn't come in yet. But what I did get today was also this. This is the three-way, which I know sounds like a lot of fun. It probably is, but that, that's not what this thing is about. Also an original GoPro thing, so it's sort of a dual unboxing here. So this is basically a selfie stick three-way selfie stick. And I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna unbox this bad boy if I just figure out how to do it. I'm just gonna do, you know, quick and dirty here. It's not pretty, I know. There we go. Such a big box for a selfie stick. But then again, if you knew what I paid for this, then... Okay. So now what's really cool about this is that you have, it's it's a very short selfie stick, but it's foldable. So you can use this in different ways. First, let's just um, attach this thing and let's see how it looks. Uh, there we go. So, that you, you can like use it as a selfie stick and it's folded and again this cost like 660 bucks or so so it was kind of expensive that's one way you can use it you can also actually i think it's more than just one way i mean you could use it also like this like a short just handle to get much more stable shot and this is really cool because it's very compact this is why i wanted it i wanted to have a short short uh, selfie stick that's foldable and stuff like that. And I know most selfie sticks are foldable, but not like this, but that's not all. What it also has is, sorry, I'm a bit clumsy. I haven't used this one before, so. You can also unscrew the bottom here. And voila, you have like a mini tripod and you can attach your GoPro directly to this thing or you can, I guess you can screw this thing on. Yep. And now you can just imagine that you have uh, these three, this tripod, you can just have it like so. Yeah, that's like a real tripod now, you know? So this is really cool. Also, what I like is that these things, these legs, these are kind of hard and kind of sharp so you can just stick them into the ground uh, so this was gonna be great like I'm really pleased about this a small tripod basically I really like small tripods so that's pretty cool I really like that very nice nice grip I'm gonna make review on this thing also you know just to test I'm just just give me a few days to test it out I'm gonna have links all over the place and uh, yeah Again, uh, if there's anything you want me to test on this bad boy, just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I will do a full review. I will have lots of samples of videos and in all modes, I'm gonna, like, I'm I'm one of the first GoPro people, you know, on YouTube. Like, I've made 200 videos on GoPro. I think I know how to make a proper review. So I'm gonna have a ton of really good videos on this thing. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be that many. I think that I'm gonna start with like five videos and I'm gonna, you know, go like to test uh, hyper smooth stabilization. That's gonna be like a separate video, definitely. Uh, the time warp, definitely. I don't know, you know, when I think about it, it's, it's got so many functions here that, you know, just five videos just seems a bit short. So um, I'm gonna probably do a bit more, but again, okay, just, for comparing these things. Uh, this one is definitely a bit heavier, even with the screen so much. I really like that the, sc the screen is like really flat compared to this one. This is more roundy thing. Not it's a bad thing or anything. I'm just, you know, noticing. So yeah, no, it's, it's 
I'm really happy right now. It's gonna be so much fun to test it. The only bad part is that's like it's it's like six six thirty in the evening and it's already dark outside. That's sweet in in October. That's just the way it is. So I'm kind of bummed out about that, but. You know what? Tomorrow isn't going to be a great day. It was sunny today, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that was it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. And if you have any questions or comments, thoughts, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.